you are now tuned into Ebenezer's world, Versace Papi in the building, make sure you subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. So I'm just going to be giving you a run through of logic. So this is how the layout looks and I'm going to walk you through how to just easily set up and record. So when you open it, it's going to be fresh. It's going to be like blank. I open it. You have the plus sign right here. You have the duplicate sign right here. You can just hit the plus and then you can create audio, software, instrument, external MIDI, guitar, bass, drummer, etc, etc. Um, for recording, we're just going to create an audio. So create audio. Now, as this audio is created, you can then go and add effects to it, add a bunch of sugar, honey, iced tea. They don't want to swear. That's a smart way as well. Man. <laughs> yeah, so you can add a bunch of sugar, honey, iced tea to it. You've got like EQs, you've got compressors and a bunch of stuff. Um, in the audio effects section. So this is the audio effects section. And then up here is the library window where you can save channel strips, uh, like any presets that you may have made. Like I've got a bunch. So you can open up the library over here on the left where you have like different presets. Um, I'd always create my own. So in library, you can also find if you click software instrument instead, in that library, the same library, you have a bunch of like, here's some of like, a few moments later, like my stuff. And then you've got like guitars, percussions, like these are all standard logic start sounds. I haven't downloaded any of them, I probably should. And then you can just make a, a beat from scratch on just stock logic sounds. Um, drop down. Uh, articulation, track zoom, note repeat, spot array, split by playhead. You have a bunch of stuff here. You have some hidden gems as well. If you like right click in a glay, gl 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 <laughs> great. If you right click in a gray area, so like right click, boom. Okay, my right click's not working. This is embarrassing. This is embarrassing. Are you not embarrassed? This is really embarrassing. Right click, customize control and display click that this will come up so this is your views your library inspector quick help toolbar this is gems like very speed Damn! or you can have like audio input monitoring on where it comes up in the i'm not sure if you see it right here it comes up right there you can have low latency mode always good to keep on just in case you're recording something and there's a little bit of lag when you're recording you just hit low latency boom you know sharp hair you just with one click you click it and it'll turn on tuner so let's say that like, you had a guitar and you wanted to tune the sound of the guitar if, in case it's slightly out it's right there click your metronome so to keep on time right now it's at 120 so if you want to keep on time it's going metronome is b1 so ready watch three three four ten. <laughs> keep on time and um, you can take the metronome off you don't have to have it on so you can have it playing you can have it you can have it off while you're recording you can have it on while you're recording tuner counting so you can change this to like counting from a bar counting from two bars three bars four bars and then before it starts recording that's what it'll give you a count it'll give you one bar count one two three four and then start and you've got your record here play now all of this is amazing and you can edit it to have like key commands and um, if you go to logic pro key commands edit now as you can see like this looks all crazy right now if you wanted to for instance let's say record I type it there record for me is set to r so i just hit r and it will record you can change that if r doesn't tickle your pickle you know what i mean you can just go to star and start to record there's so many things you can change as you see fit. I said it right this time. Yeah, baby. <laughs> oh, oh. See fit. 